Thank you, Jen and Dominic, for sharing your beautiful and inspiring story with us. Jen's experience is such the perfect example of the beautiful gift of life, the dignity of every human person brought to beautiful fruition by a family that was willing to open their homes and their hearts to the gift of adoption. And then the amazing story that followed that frankly only God could author. And on that note of those moments only God can author, I wanna share with you a text that our Project Gabriel director Ingrid just shared with me tonight. Um, as we were connecting with you in each of your homes. She had received this from one of the moms we've been working with during this crisis. Thank you for all the ways you've made my life so much better as a new mom and as a wife. Thank you for bringing out the best in others and for your selflessness and zeal to help put a smile on every woman's face. My success as a woman is due in part to your endless support and guidance. And I humbly appreciate you for that. It means so much to me that you have faith in my abilities, my dreams and aspirations. I can't begin to count my blessings so far with Project Gabriel. None of that, not one moment of that would be possible without you. You are the key that makes her dreams come true, that makes her child have that first birthday, that brings that moment of beauty and love to her home. That these women and men that are on the precipice of tragedy are pulled back by God's grace flowing through your generosity. You're making that possible. And tonight, I wanna to thank you for every single one of you who have given sacrificially. Right now, we are just about at $350,000 raised for the gift of life. You can still give, you can pray on that pledge, you can make that gift of life at prolifedallas.org at any moment now or after the program. And of course, you can still buy raffle tickets for that chance to win a trip to Rome or to the Holy Land or for a $10,000 MasterCard gift card. All of those tickets will help support this mission we share. And that drawing will happen in May. And then finally, of course, the auction, those wonderful packages that Omar shared with you, that bidding will stay open till 9 p.m. So you still have that opportunity to continue to support our community in this crisis and beyond. We would like to close this evening with the Disciples for Life prayer by St. John Paul II in honor of the silver anniversary of Evangelum Vitae. O oh Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O oh mother, upon the vast numbers of babies to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept the gospel as the gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love and to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. Thank you for joining us tonight. We could not do what we do without you. You help us help those we serve. May God bless you and keep your family healthy. Good night.